in Winston-Salem, actually, and grew up in North Carolina. And so I grew up in the South, and now I live in Athens, Georgia, which is a fabulous place to live. It's a small um, college town, and I love college towns. But my mother was from the North. She was from New York City. So I had, I grew up with a mixture of living in the South and being with Southerners, but with a Northern background. I didn't eat grits. I didn't, uh, I mean, I didn't eat fried foods like everybody else because my mother didn't know how to cook that way. I mean, she was from the North. But I have that mixture and I think that's been good for me. But I love everything Southern and I wanted to write a book set in the South. That's why Atlanta was very important for the setting. Um, what else about me? I'm married. I've been married now for 37 years to a wonderful, wonderful man who's a psychiatrist. And I have three fabulous stepchildren. So I'm a stepmom, but a nice one, not the wicked one. Um, I have three cats. I'm a big cat person and one fabulous dog who holds his own against the three cats. I'm big on animals. I tend to be uh, animal rights big time. I will not read a book where an animal is hurt, injured, killed, whatever. I just won't read it. And so in my books, you can be sure if there's an animal, it might get threatened but nothing bad's gonna happen to the animal, just to let you know ahead of time. Um, I, I exercise a lot. I spend a lot of my time at the gym. I swim, I go to spin classes. I do what I can for my health because my father did die at a young age of a heart attack. And so I keep that in my mind that I have to stay healthy. I'm an avid reader. I read everything and I love reading. And that's one reason I think I love writing. I began writing when I was in junior high school. I wrote a play based on the tale of two cities, as if I could write a play better than Charles Dickens, but you know, anyway, I didn't know any better. And there was a boy involved who I was trying to impress. In any event, I wrote that play and that started me in writing. However, I have to say, that I was very imaginative even before that because we used to produce marionette shows in our garage and I wrote and directed those long before that. But I didn't think of myself really as a writer and really writing until I wrote the first story that was published and it was published for Reader's Digest. And I was probably in my 30s then. So even though I was creating and writing I never really thought of myself as a writer until, that's, until that happened. And then I started writing seriously. I want readers to read my work or what I write for entertainment. I want them to have a good time. I, like I say, I love reading. I love it. It's an escape in a way, in a different world. And I'm not saying my world is bad. I have a good world. I enjoy my world. But at the same time, I love living that other world for just a temporary time. It's fun. That's what I want readers to be able to experience. Entertainment. I'm not trying through my fiction to send a political message, to teach anything. I've taught a lot already. I'm done with that. I just want people to enjoy themselves. primarily from my website, which is www.joancurtis.com. There I have a bio, I've got all my books, they can order my books directly from my website or go to all the outlets such as Amazon or Barnes & Noble or any of the other outlets online. I also have a blog and I'm very proud of my blog, I enjoy blogging and I have a lot of information including book reviews on books I've read as well as author interviews with other authors so that readers can hear about other authors and the way they write and their style. So they can, they can go to my website. They can also find me very easily on Amazon. I have an Amazon authors page. 
I have an author's page on Goodreads for the readers that like to use Goodreads. And um, also a Facebook page. And my Facebook page is Joan C. Curtis Author at Facebook. And so I'm easy to find. In fact, if you Google me, if you Google Joan C. Curtis, I'm going to pop right up there. If you Google just Joan Curtis, you'll have to look a little bit because there are quite a few Joan Curtises in the world. <laughs> Readers who are more interested in finding out more about The Clock Strikes Midnight, particularly those readers who want to read, to be the first readers to read a book to tell their friends about. There are a lot of people out there like that. You can read the first two chapters on my website. Uh, well, not on the website, but you sign up on my website. You can get the first two chapters for free. You can also listen to a little teaser about The Clock Strikes Midnight which will give you an idea if this is the kind of book you want to read. And, in, and then, if you think it is, sign up, you get the two chapters, and you can determine, is this a book I want to order when it comes out? And I'll send you all kinds of information about pre-sale, contests, or whatever is going on related to my writing and The Clock Strikes Midnight. <laughs>